Hey guys, this is Andre from The Trading Crew. I'm an entrepreneur and stock enthusiast. And on this channel, I plan on breaking down stocks I love, stocks you love, and most importantly, stocks nobody should love. Uh, first off, I'd like to uh, start this video by saying that this isn't a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell any assets. It's here strictly for demonstration and recre recreational purposes. I'd like to start off the day by talking about the most important topic of the day, which is Bitcoin's amazing crash from all-time highs uh, during most of the uh, past weeks here. So obviously Bitcoin seems to have been uh, finding a bit of support here in the uh, $34,000 range. Uh, it hit the 300-day SMA for a couple of brief moments and then bounced right off with a bullish pin bar which obviously seems like a very good indication of the fact that there's a lot of demand on, um, down there. So it's really important for us to be able to know that and have a look at it. And whenever it touches those points, again, if it does, uh, that's one of the best moments that we can get in if you're interested in uh, trading crypto. Since I'm not very much of a crypto fan myself, or not necessarily a fan, but uh, not much of a crypto trader myself, um, I do have a couple of trades in mind with regards to Bitcoin, one, one actually that I'd like to, to get into today. That said, uh, I'm going to do so on the crypto miner Mara rather than doing it on Bitcoin itself. So with Mara here, the play I was looking at earlier would actually be an options play. Uh, if you don't know what options are, I'm going to uh, continue posting a lot of videos on the, on the channel here. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button on this video and uh, you're gonna get notifications on some of these videos as soon as I post them. Uh, I'm going to go more in depth on the options uh, as well as try to explain what uh, some of the other channels are trying to charge you for as well as some of the information that uh, is widely available online but you just have to, to spend a lot of time looking for it and researching it. I'm gonna try to bundle it up in a form that you can uh, hopefully digest in a shorter town, uh, time span and be able to use that uh, for your reference. But with regards to Mara here, what I would actually like doing is, well, actually, let me start by analyzing the the, the chart here for you guys a second. Obviously, Mara being a, a, a Bitcoin miner has been uh, absolutely crushed during the last few weeks. Um, it's definitely bearish right now going down, but it seems to have found support here at around the 180 day SMA line, let's call it 200 because it, it fell right behind it, uh, below it for a couple of times here, but it does seem to have uh, uh, gotten some sort of support there. So if we have a look at the weekly chart as well, uh, I like doing that just because the daily chart might sometimes be misleading, especially with uh, uh, growth stocks. So have a look at the weekly chart as well, and we can see it be uh, right here near the, the 40 day EMA line, which is this dotted line here, which seems to be a good indication of some sort of support at that level. Uh, furthermore, if we have a look again at the daily chart, we can see that it's getting near to some support uh, areas that it hasn't touched for pretty much the whole 2021 yet. So uh, it seems to me like it's, it's getting some really good buying pressure in here. The MACD looks good. It looks uh, over over uh, sold on the RSI, so it definitely has a lot of these indicators uh, vouching for it to go higher from here. So the option that I was looking at was a sell put option, uh, sell to open a put option. Uh, if we go out the usual 30 to 45 days, let's say uh, let's say we go out to the 25th of June. Um, and what I like doing is making sure that I'm, I'm around a 25 delta or even lower than that. And in this case, we can see that the premiums here are, are quite tasty. So if, if we look, for example, at the 17 uh, strike price, um, basically, if we were to sell this 17 strike price on Mara here, uh, what we would basically say is that um, First off, we get a premium. We get a premium of $1.39 times 100 shares. That's $139 for one contract. Obviously, if you have the capital, you can open 10 contracts, 100 contracts. It really depends on your own ability to do so. Uh, but what I was looking at is obviously 
um, either this one or even going back an expiration date here and going to the 17 um, strike price here and maybe locking in around the midpoint here $125 for one contract uh, and obviously what you have to do as part of this is put up the collateral which is $1,700 worth of uh, collateral so what happens if uh, if we reach the 18th of June and Mara never reaches uh, the 17 strike price it's easy you you simply get to walk away with the profits of 130 bucks which isn't bad at all especially if we calculate the ROI on it uh, give me a sec here so it would be a hundred let's say 125 bucks uh, and you're putting up collateral of 1700 bucks and that's an, an ROI of 7% in the time span that uh, we have between now and the 18th of June basically around 25 days from now so within 25 days you lock in seven percent to my uh to my in my book that's a very good roi to have on that sort of collateral um let's take the other side what happens if uh, mara goes beyond that 17 strike price it's just as easy first off you get assigned and in that case you would have a, a price point of uh, give me a sec. Actually, I just got filled. I'm not sure if you heard, heard that, but I just got filled on this exact trade here. Uh, so right now I got $125 in premium. So my um, average price for Mara would be $17 minus 1.25, the mid here, uh, and that's $15.75. And now I have, I, I have the ability or rather the obligation to own 100 shares of Mara at 1575 um, and again to my book that's if you love the stock that's a win-win scenario because if you get to buy it at $15 Mara hasn't been at $15 for what's almost a, uh, a full seven months now six months so that's a great price point if you believe in the stock um, so that comes with a, a, a big warning sign never do put options on a stock that you don't believe in um, never do anything really on a stock that you don't believe in but with mara especially here i don't mind owning the 100 at 15 bucks 1575 and i also don't mind being paid 150 125 dollars to just wait for 25 days again if it never touches that price point i never get assigned i keep to i, I get to keep that premium nobody takes it away from me anymore and this is an absolute fantastic way of generating income. You don't have to be stressed out. You don't have to day trade and feel like you have to be there and every second counts. And uh, if you have to go use the toilet, you uh, risk losing out everything you worked for for the entire day. So um, I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown on Bitcoin and on what I think will happen with both Bitcoin as well as Mara here. Obviously, again, Bitcoin has this support here. I can see it going back higher up. You shouldn't be afraid by the China uh, debacle, by the Elon Musk debacle. Uh, this isn't new. It keeps happening every so often with Bitcoin, so you shouldn't get scared. Uh, the one thing I do, again, is just uh, play on miners rather than Bitcoin itself, since I, I, I can see a bit more predictability there. And with the miners, if we have a look here, we have Mara and Riot being absolutely the best in the industry. But if you have a look in between them, um, for example, Mara has almost the, the best last reported hash rate here, but it absolutely destroys Riot for uh, projected hash rate. And this isn't like some crazy projection, it's actual uh, numbers of the uh, miners that they've already ordered, but with the demand for, for miners being so high, um, they take a while to get those orders fulfilled. So for right now, they're hashing at this amount, they're gonna hash like 10x uh, within the next year or so. And we can also have a look at what the current Bitcoin holdings are, and we can see that Mara has uh, five times the amount that Riot has. But then again, if we look at Riot as well, really briefly, um, we can see that it trades at a higher uh, price point than Mara right now. And I think we had, yeah, we have the market, the market cap here. Mara is currently a bit higher than Riot is, but 
still it's neck and neck so i see a lot more value in mara for um, the next six to 12 months um, again that's just my opinion so uh, if you got anything out of the video please leave it a thumbs up if you want me to break down your stock uh, leave it in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to do that uh, take it easy